Yo, YouTube, YouTube, what's going on? Trey back again to hit you with a video. Now, this video right here comes out of Ohio. Big shout out to all my peeps in Ohio, but I'll be damned. I didn't know they had a Brooklyn in Ohio. Y'all got to forgive me. I'm not from that area. So when I heard Brooklyn, somebody said, you need to check this out in Brooklyn about this guy, you know, getting the police called on him trying to cash a ch check. I said, damn, is Brooklyn in the house? What the hell is going on in New York? Come to find out, it's Ohio. So I'm sorry, New York. You know what I'm saying? If uh, I had got the wrong misconception. Now, you would think that since this is what we call what the holiday season, which means holy days, really it's not holy. But anyway, I ain't gonna preach to you all right now. I ain't gonna educate you too much. But you would think since it's Christmas time, it's Christmas time in the city. You would think that people would have what we call what's the word I'm looking for? Yes, somebody said it. Holiday cheer. Thank you very much. You're gonna live a long time. And you would think that these people in this bank location would have some holiday spirit in them, some holiday cheer. So when this guy got paid from his job, which he just started uh, uh, from what I heard, so he goes in there with a check a little bit above a thousand dollars. To a lot of people, a thousand dollars is a lifesaver. A thousand dollars is goes a long way for a lot of people, but to some people, that's like crumbs in a bucket. And no offense to anybody, I'm not trying to count nobody's pockets like they do on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Like they do on all these other things. They don't want you to have shit. Even if it's your money, you don't work for it. Don't don't work hard for it. They don't give a damn. I mean, this is also the season to be hating on people who's trying to get it while the other one's sitting at home not getting it. So this guy walks in there with a paycheck over a thousand dollars from his job, which big salute to him, Mr. Uh, Paul McCowns for holding it down, working like a real man. You can't say the man out there robbing people, selling drugs or out there prostituting, selling that wood. No, he is working a legit job. So big shout out to him, Mr. Paul. But the tailor decides that she thought something was very fishy about this situation, about this whole transaction. She said, not a damn thing is going down on my watch. You would not come in here with hot fraudulent, fraudulent, forged checks on my watch. But little did she know that this check was legit. Like MC Hammer said, too legit, too legit to quit. Yes, the check was very legit. But one thing about it, only the other thing that I can spell with the IT is this clerk was full of shit. You feel what I'm saying? So not only did she insult this guy, but she got around all the other secretaries. Like, look at this. He think we still, he think we finna get him a thousand dollar check. Like, I guess uh, excuse my French, like black people don't make that much in Brooklyn, Ohio. And I know y'all do. Y'all get in the comment section right now. I mean, some people just think we don't got no damn money. And I'm not being racist. I ain't got a racist bone in my body. Look at me. I ain't got a racist bone in my body, but I'll be damned if I don't tell the truth. Because that happened to me when I went in Walmart. I'll tell you that story in a few. But anyway, to make a long story short, she calls the whole click around. You know what I'm saying? Like E40, Sugar T, D shot, uh, be legit, whatever. He called all of them around like they to click and say, y'all look at this. Y'all think, he think we finna let him come in here and write this uh, hot, hot check or come in here with somebody else's check. This can't be his money. He don't make that much money, but come to find out, he does. Like, that's a lot of money. You got people wait, make way more than that. So she did the unthinkable, not the Alicia Keys version. No, she called the damn Popos 12, 5 one time. Uh, Charlie, if you know what I mean. She called the cops on him. And I had this guy uh, placing handcuffs in the back of a squad car like he's some damn convicted criminal, like he's some damn convict out of the movie Con Air or something with Nicolas Cage. No, he's not. He's a hardworking man and he deserves some respect. Like Birdman said, put some respect, not with the CT, but with the EK, put some respect on Mr. Paul McCown's name. So after the police notified and got in contact with his job, they come to find out that this chick is legit, too legit to quit. So they had to carry that egg on their face. Now, instead of them just saying, you know what, we're sorry, uh, we'll issue a uh, public apology. No, they decided just to let it drag out in the media. I think they would have never said anything if this wasn't brought to the light. So big shout out to them for being a man and standing up and uh, exposing this hypocrisy. But that's what happened, just like before I start this story, just like when I went in Walmart a couple weeks ago, doing the Thanksgiving holidays, going to, you know, give my grandmother some money and everything. I need a money order, because I don't really like to give her cash like that, and some people know why. Anyway, so I go in there, and you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to uh, handle a few stacks, trying to give to my grandmother for, uh, you know, Thanksgiving and stuff to help out with the house and whatever she needs, because she's on up in age and everything. And uh, so 
I go to the Walmart and it wasn't no white lady. Let's be for real. We're going to be keep it real on here. It was a black girl. So I said, can I get this money order for this amount? She looked at me like, I'm like, well, damn, you know, I work. I, you know what I'm saying? Just because you might see a little gold or a little diamond or something don't mean I'm selling drugs or anything. I, I'm quick to tell them, look, I don't sell no damn drugs. You know, just like when I went to the car lot. I'm like, look, this is what I do. I work here. I work there. This is what I do. So I want you to know my money is real. You see what I'm saying? Just because I'm coming here with a bag full of money like I'm a duffel bag boy don't mean that I'm out here getting it. You know what I'm saying? Riding around town getting it. No, I'm working hard for mine. You feel me? On a railroad and also on social media. So excuse you all for who want to count people money. But isn't it ironic that the same people that's calling people scammers and stuff saying they're getting over on people, how they bypass the real scammers and they come to the people who don't ask for shit. So how can them people be scamming and trying to get over? So anyway, I basically tell her, you know, this is what I need. So she goes to the manager's office. I'm like, what the hell going on? Like, I worked at Walmart before. I hell, I worked at Walmart when I was like, what, 18, 19 years old. So I know what the hell is going on. Y'all thinking I'm coming here with this hot ass credit card. Yeah, it's hot, but it ain't stolen. But it's hot because the joker been swiping every damn well. But anyway, so she go get another woman. And so the other woman come over there. You got, you got your ID, your driver license? I'm like, yeah. Then she gonna ask me my social security number. I'm like, what the hell you need my social security number for? I ain't finna give you my social security number. I said, you know what? The hell with this. This is very discriminatory. I've said it all wrong and everything. I said, y'all trying to discriminate on me. I made a big ass scene and everything. Then, uh, and come to find out she could have just made two transactions due to the amount that it was. And when nothing been said, but due to the fact that she want to hate on somebody, want to come in there and spend some money, I walked out and I made a big, you know what I'm saying? I made a, I made a scene for him. Like, you think, People ain't got money. You think everybody around here is trying to get over? Hell no. This is what I do. You want you want you want me you want me to show you pictures of my job? You want me to show you picture of my social media stuff? So you won't think? I mean, you know what? I ain't gotta show you shit. Give me my goddamn. Uh, I said, give me my dog on uh, credit card back, and I left. You feel me? But anyway, this is how people try to play you. So let's don't try to make this out to be like it's just one side thing. You have people of your own color, your own uh, ethnicity that hate on you. Anyway, I'm gonna read a snippet from this story, and I'm gonna give my opinion. Surely. As we go, a black man, yes, a black man, as you can tell, tried to cash his paycheck. The bank called the popos, called the cops on his brother. Now, three weeks into his new job, Paul McCowns was ready to cash his first paycheck. And just like anybody about to cash that first paycheck, you'd be what? Anxious like genuine, so anxious. You'd be ready to get them big buckety bucks in your hand so you can go do what you got to do. Go get the new J's. Go pay your rent. Some of y'all ain't paid your damn child support in a while. And some of you women ain't paid your wood bill. And some of you guys ain't paid your cookie bill. Go pay them people. Now, there were no issues when he first entered a Huntington Bank branch in Brooklyn, not New York, Ohio. On December the 1st, the bank asked for two forms of ID, which McCowns provided. He told the news station, an employee then asked for a fingerprint. And that fingerprint shit gets me every time. That shit be hard to come off on your clothes. Don't make the mistake like I do and wear one of your nice shirts out there and it be white and you mess around and, and uh, you know, like you think something on you or something, you mess around and swipe your uh, hand across your shirt and you had that ink mark right there. That's hard as hell to come out. It's going to cost about $10 to get it out. Now, an employee then asked for a fingerprint, which is standard operation procedure for non Huntington customers attempting to cash checks according to to the damn bank now but soon bank employees began to question the legitimacy of his check which was worth just over one thousand dollars not like he came in there with 50 not like he came in there with 10 or maybe three no he came in there with just a stack and a, a little change but they also said that once they seen the check, they called his employer and electric company numerous times to confirm. I wonder why they didn't pick up, but they picked up when the police called. Hmm, it sounds very suspicious. That's one of the things that things like things that make you go, hmm. Okay, when the police came and he called, he got in touch with them, but when y'all allegedly called, oh, y'all couldn't get in touch with nobody. That's a lie. Anyway, but his employer did not answer, so they say. The bank turned him away. He said, moments later, he was handcuffed. If y'all turn me away, what you handcuffing me for? What you got your hands on me for? That's what I'll be saying. Moments later, he was handcuffed and put into the back of a police cruiser. He was put in the back of a damn patrol car. I got in my truck and the squad car pulls in front of me, uh, McCown said. Get out of the car, McCown, uh, 30 years old, told the news station. An employee had called Brooklyn police who detained McCowns until they verified with his employer that the check was real. All this over a man who's trying to 
earn an honest living. Oh, they ain't, ain't that's what y'all want? You want people out here to work an honest living? Or I guess you'll like it better. They just busting your head and robbing you or something. I don't know. You can't have it both ways. I mean, you're damned if you do, damned if you don't. Let's continue this before I get in trouble. Now, McCown said his employer told police, yes, he works for me. He just started. And yes, my payroll company does pay him that much. That's good. But damn, I done seen some checks that make you look at that check and go, mm, mm, mm. that must be just a cent on the dollar. You ever seen a check for $50,000? You ever seen a check for $100,000? That's when you're going to have some problems. Let me continue now. In a 911 call, an employee at the bank is heard telling an operator that McCowns had tried to cash a fraudulent check. That's the shit we talking about right there. That's that shit we talking about right there. How in the hell can you call the popos? And you know they out here <laughs> gunning people down and stuff. How you gonna call them on McCowns? You feel me? They are not going to come up there trying to talk. No, they come up there straight with the handcuffs like you already guilty. How you gonna put me in handcuffs and you don't even know what I did wrong? If I even done something wrong, which he didn't do anything wrong for those who caught that. Now, does he know you? You call 911. The operator's ex. Like, do he know you call 911? Do you know this guy? The employee says no. The employee responds. Brooklyn Police Chief Scott McHale said Tuesday that since July there have been they got to justify this is what you call damage control. This is what you call collateral damage. Now they got to make it an excuse. I hate people that you know. I don't. I don't hate no one, but I just hate when people. Let me say it right. Because that's where God you up here hating on people. I just hate when people sit up here and try to make excuses for their damn stupidity. I mean, it's, uh, excuses like buttholes. Everybody got one. If you ain't got one, you must be full of shit coming out your mouth. Now, Brooklyn Police Chief Scott McHale said Tuesday that since July, there have been at least 10 calls out to the Huntington Beach branch where McCowns was detained. Okay. Just because you had 10, hell, you could have had 100. You could have had 500. You could have had 30. Was it McCowns on every one of them tape? Because you got video, I'm sure. You got some you got some cameras protecting that fiat money up in there. So was McCowns on every tape? Forget how many calls you had. They got calls every damn well. What if you stand on the street and uh like in one of these damn neighborhoods and stuff that we all done stayed in before? Well, I'm gonna say we all, because some of you all grew up with a silver spoon. So let me reframe my word, uh, change my word, if you will. Uh some of us grew up in tough neighborhoods. So just say if you stayed on a block and they have a lot of violence going on on that block, and the police have to come out there every day. You feel me? Somebody getting shot or the police killing somebody, and just cause you want to walk outside one day and just get some of that fresh air they see you outside and think that you're one of the suspects and kill you i mean what kind of sense that makes so it really it really doesn't matter if you know what i mean now mccall's uh says that he was detained and that all of this was result of fraudulent check that the employee said that he had but it was not but also what the chief was trying to say is that they had 10 calls out to the Huntington Beach where McCowns was detained, all of which have resulted in arrest for fraudulent checks. And like I said, do you have him, Mr. Paul McCowns, on tape issuing or trying to cash fraudulent checks? No, you don't. So your justification is nothing. A spokesman from Huntington Beach confirmed McHale's account, adding, see, you got to have somebody to co-sign your shit. Anytime you need somebody to co-sign something, you're full of shit. You feel me? Because, hey, I don't need nobody to co-sign anything. I say I can stand on my own with it. You know, if, if I say it, I own it. A spokesman from Huntington Beach confirmed McHale's account, adding that recent incidents have put employees and tellers at the branch on high alert. But I bet you if Miss Daisy, from driving Miss Daisy, would have walked in there with her purse full of money. And she probably got this money from like Bunny and Clyde days, hitting up banks all across Ohio, all the way down to damn Kentucky, all the way up to Pennsylvania, back to Virginia, then back to Ohio, back to Huntington Beach. And I bet y'all wouldn't have caused her no problems. But this man coming there with a real check, and he's telling y'all he's real. And then he waits there for y'all to confirm it. And unless he's playing stupid, why would he give you his ID any damn way? And I know you got to have that cash check, you know. So evidently, you know, it sounds like that this guy was trying to be honest, but you all the one dropped the ball. But just like in a lot of other cases, they got to make excuses up for their actions. Let's continue before I get in trouble. The spokesman said they have attempted to reach McCowns multiple times to apologize but he hasn't returned their calls. You want me to tell you why? Because this is like when somebody make us mad. I do it all the time. You make me mad. You try to reach out to me. I ignore you. I look right at you like, you know, I ain't finna answer that damn phone. 
hell with you. I'm finna say hell for you, but I'm trying to keep it clean, you know, saved and sanctified to the next video. Now, they issue the following statement. They said, this is them talking. We sincerely apologize to Mr. McCowns for this extremely unfortunate event. It's an event. No, it's a fuck up. We accept responsibility for contacting the police as well as our own interaction with Mr. McCowns. What you should have said, we accept responsibility because we could have got your ass killed. And we sorry for snitching on you, dry ratting that day, because, because we thought that you come in here, that you came in our establishment with a fake check. You know we don't trust you. Now, anyone who walks into a Huntington branch should feel welcome. How? How? How are you going to feel welcome and you just made me feel like a damn asshole? You just made me feel like a smooth criminal. They also says, regrettably, that did not occur in this instance. And we are very, 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 very sorry. We hold ourselves accountable to the highest ethnical standards in how we operate. Hire and train colleagues and interact, and interact Excuse me, with the communities we have the privilege of serving. They could have saved that damn apology. And I don't blame Mr. Paul McCowns for not uh, returning their damn phone calls. You done made me like a damn fool in the eye of the public. Now, Mr. McCowns did not return a message requesting come in Tuesday afternoon. He told a news station that he had no trouble cashing it at another Huntington branch the next day. So he went and cashed this check at another place with no problem. Just like I went to another damn Walmart and with no problem. But due to the fact that this four-eyed helper was hating on me at that Walmart, a black girl, yeah, Jessica, yeah, she was hating on me. And she like, like she ain't never seen a guy that had a little money. Hell, I ain't rich by a long shot, but damn, I ain't poor by a long shot neither. Just because I came in there and I'm trying to give my grandma some money, trying to do a good deed. They always said no good deed goes unpunished. She decides that she want to call management and everything, have me sign some kind of form. And so they got this new form. If you get a certain amount over money or they, you got to get your information down. I mean, you ain't finna track my damn shit. My shit is legit. Now, the person who made that phone call, that manager, that teller, whoever made that phone call, I feel as though they were judging. Yes, they was judging you. Do not let them sit up here and say that they wasn't because they was because they would have never did what? Made that phone call. He added that the bank should change its policy for people who aren't account holders, but it wouldn't even matter if you are account holder. Let you would have came in there with a big enough check. You could have had an account with them for 10 years. They're going to look at you just like this. Yo, you a clone? No, I'm not. Let me know what you all think about this video because it's a damn shame that we have clout chasers. We have people all over social media and also in public who sit up here and call people scammers and want to treat them like they're scammers or like they're trying to swim and get over on somebody when the same ones that's accused the people of doing this, all the ones doing it themselves. But it's funny and very ironic that they could bypass all the people that's out here really scamming the people. Don't say shit about them, but they go to the people who ain't doing nothing, who ain't even ask for a dollar. You feel me? Them the ones that you need to watch out for right there. Watch out for those because they are called what? Haters. And just like Mr. McCowns found out, this Taylor, whoever, this Taylor, excuse me, Whoever she is was a hater. And just like I found out that day at Walmart with Miss Jessica, with Mr. Jessica, look like a man and a woman put together, was a hater because guess what? Evidently, she ain't getting no bread like that. Let me know what you all think about this video. If you like the video, push that like button. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel. Also, share this video with your bum-ass family and friends who hate to see you come up on some money. You feel me? Share it with your employees, your bank, your bank you go to, the grocery store you go to, and let them know. Don't worry about how I'm getting mine as long as I'm getting it. And I ain't doing nothing illegal to get it. Y'all have a blessed day and watch out for these pocket watchers because they are everywhere. I'm out.